So today we're announcing the expansion of offshore oil and gas exploration, but in ways that balance the need to harness domestic energy resources and the need to protect America's natural resources. The president's plan would allow drilling along the South Atlantic coast in the Gulf of Mexico, 125 miles from Florida, and on the north coast of Alaska. The ban would remain in place on the North Atlantic coast and the west coast, and now in Alaska's Bristol Bay. Drill, baby, drill. Many Republicans who have long advocated for more drilling say the plan doesn't go far enough. Environmentalists say it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, offshore drilling is still a dirty and dangerous industry that's not compatible, we think, with be beaches and coastlines. Now, the president said way back in his State of the Union address last year that he was going to be making some tough decisions on opening up the coast for drilling. So environmentalists shouldn't be surprised, but they sure are disappointed, Katie. And Chip, if he's hearing it from both sides, what is the president's reasoning behind this move? Well, two major things. Number one, he says that if we're ever going to free ourselves from dependence on foreign oil, you've got to try everything. And that includes nuclear, as he said recently, and oil and gas, even drilling off the coast. He also says this is about jobs in this economic environment, and this plan will create jobs. Some, as you know, Chip, are suggesting there is a political calculation at work here designed to win Republican support for a broader energy bill. Uh, well, the White House, of course, says, no, this is not about politics. This is simply the best policy. But I tell you, when he gets up there in Congress and he's trying to get his climate legislation through, it sure will help if he has some Republicans on his side. And Chip, we should mention this is not going to happen for some time. No, it's not, Katie. It's going to take years. There will be studies to see what's out there under the sea. There will be studies on how it affects the environment. And of course, we can expect it will get tied up in court. Katie. All right. Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thank you, Chip.